Welcome back to Brightside here on 10 Tampa Bay. We are your hurricane headquarters. I want to give you a chance to download the app. Uh, this is this is a great time to do that. To just take your phone. I know you got it in your hand or at least nearby. Take that phone and open up the camera and point it at this QR code because even though the tropics aren't busy right now, once they do start to heat up, which they will, we're still expecting a, an active hurricane season, you'll be able to get notifications sent to your phone about the tropics. So we are constantly updating information about what's going on in the tropics. So get that QR code or you can head over to our website on 10tampabay.com for all those updates. In the meantime, I'll call them out there. Uh, we are tracking the, this trough of low pressure producing some showers and storms in the northern Gulf of Mexico this morning. It was, uh, I don't want to say a lot more impressive. I'll just say a little bit more impressive, a little more organized, a little more showers and storms earlier this week. Now the, the center of this trough of low pressure beginning to move over land. So once it moves over land, you can forget about it. We're probably not going to see any development. Hurricane Center still hanging on to a 10% chance that we see that development over the next few days. But even then, I really don't think it's going to happen. It still will bring some showers and storms. Some places over southern Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, even the panhandle of Florida could see some heavier rain, potentially up to six inches of rain in southern Louisiana.